Hey, what up, what up, what up, AK here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at this Harley Benton PJ5 HTR Deluxe 5 string bass. I haven't done anything with this since I picked it up four months ago. Um, other than make some music and record a few tracks, I'm very happy with it. And it needs a little bit of TLC. We're going to do a setup on it and see what it looks like under the pit guard. If that's something you're interested in, stick around here on the Broke, Broke Single, Single Guitar, Guitar Show. Show. Now, I purchased this guitar roughly about four months ago from Toman Music in Germany. Had it shipped to America. And, uh, of course, it has the two pickups in the front and the one in the back. And, uh, you know, it looks like kind of like a P bass. We have a knob volume for the front pickups and volume for the back with a tone and a front jack. Um, I do like the figuring on the, the maple neck. Looks pretty cool, one of a kind. Almost makes it uh, a very recognizable guitar and a, just a basic blank back plate. Now I did pick this up for roughly 133 American dollars and around $75 for shipping. So. Uh, it's a little bit better to buy multiple instruments because the shipping stays the same. The body is alder, maple neck, a rosé sur fretboard, which I don't really know what that is. I'm assuming it's a, a wood that looks like uh, rosewood. And we'll take a look at uh, underneath the pick guard and see what it looks like. Looks like a lot of buffing compound. <laughs> uh, but that is something that can be easily cleaned. And let's go ahead and take a look at under these pickups. Pretty basic, just seems to have the rubber foamy thing on the bottom to adjust the height. And I would assume that. We have the same on this bridge style pickup. Now, I'm not really familiar with bass pickups and I'm, I'm not a bass player so I uh, couldn't give you a whole lot of information and Toman doesn't give you a whole lot of information other than uh, they're just P style pickups. And really nice chrome bridge there and as you can see <laughs> there's a ton of buffing compound in there now it does have many pots I'm assuming they're 250k uh, you have a green capacitor there and there's proper shielding underneath all the pots and very clean soldering and I'm happy with the sound the standard jack there now as we look at this neck you can just see this is uh, looks really dried out and needs some conditioning now three ply pick guard and I really do like the color and the design on this I'm not sure what they call it like a tortoise shell or uh, I'm not sure but it uh, really does look good with this bass and I love the color and as you can see here's the second half of the front pickup now each string does have two poles uh, to, to pick up a signal so we would have four on one six on the other and ten on the bridge and they line up perfectly in between each string. So let's go ahead and get this neck conditioned. I like to use cotton balls 
one to apply and one just to kind of rub it in. It uh, is something that I like think everybody should do to their guitar whenever you're changing the strings. Just take the strings off, um, get a little bit of, of, of conditioning oil, and you know apply a generous amount if you have never ever done it on your neck before you'll realize that the wood soaks it up so fast. Okay, and then uh, we do have like a, I believe it's a plastic nut. It's, I don't even think it's, uh, it's nylon. But uh, there we have the access for the truss rod adjustment. And we do have a fat string tree in the middle of the headstock to uh, hold down a couple strings. And it's almost like a fender style decal on that neck. And we'll take a look at the neck after it's been conditioned. And I will say one thing, Harley Benton has a great QC department and most of these guitars that come out of Germany are set up. They're ready to play. They look good. There is no um, problem with the frets or anything. There's no fret sprouts. And although it's not the best job in the world, it, it, they are rounded and look really nice for that matter. And of course we have the dot inlays. And here's what the cavity looks like after we got the buffing compound out of it. Very nice routing, clean. And we'll go ahead and get this cover back on here. Let me get it restrung. Now I have some people that say you shouldn't use a power drill. And I personally, like this uh, XTD Works brand. I think it's a product of Black & Decker. It's a very, very low torque screwdriver and it, it's perfect for small electrical jobs or electronic jobs like this. And so, you know, it is what it is if you're wondering, but it, it it's very reliable and doesn't damage the guitar with torque or anything like that. It's not like a, not like those uh, new drills that seem to be very powerful. Okay, now this has the vintage style tuners or machine heads, I should say. And all you do is basically stick the string in, make a little kink at the at the edge and twist it and there you go very simple fast and easy and I like it because you don't have any ends of the string sticking up sometimes you get poked by them and it can be painful <laughs> of course these are open back tuners and I always just check to make sure everything's tight but uh, very nice. And then we'll go ahead and do the intonation. And I did check everything. We're doing this quickly. Only had one string that needed it. Everything else was fine. And as you can see, each string has two holes on each pickup. And there you have it. What a really nice looking bass. I'm gonna do another demo. I know that I did one during the unboxing, but I used a pick with that, and this time I'm just gonna use my fingers and we'll see if it gets any different tones. You can go back to the other video and compare, and uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the back here. Okay, now this is, just to let you know, it is a five-piece body. You can see all the seams, but it almost has movement in 
the figuring on the wood. Never seen alder like that, but. And then there's, of course, a really huge neck dive on this. So you might want to use a fat strap to keep that from happening. So let's check it out. Do this finger style. you think don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell remember i am giving away a harley benton dc 600 if you live in america just let me know what state you're in and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week on the next episode of the pro single, single guitar, guitar show, show. show.